Um, the flat head part is sticking out and that is for uh, attaching later, on a later date, so don't be worried that that isn't attached to anything at the moment. Alpha, this Alpha is back. Prepare for him a hard work with attitude. Hello and welcome to the next episode of Build the Megazord where we're looking at issue 64 this time and continuing with the Sabretooth Tiger. Um, yeah, and it's quite a short uh, video this week because we are starting work on the hind leg but it, it's quite an easy issue uh, to do so it will take less time than normal. Um, I do want to say that I have changed up the camera angle slightly. As this build goes on the parts are getting bigger and bigger and to make more room on my little desk so I just put the camera on the far wall, so that's why my hands are coming in from the top rather than from the bottom, just in case people um, notice that and are wondering why that is. And also, I have already done this, but I forgot to film it all. So I've disassembled it and I'm starting again. Uh, you may notice one part uh, when we come to it that I can't disassemble, but we'll get on to that in a little bit later. So the first part we're doing is uh, working on the foot of the first of the hind legs. Uh, so you can see here we've got the claw part here and we've got the bottom part of the foot there as well. But in between those two parts we have this joint part here. Uh, so what we do is we get the main part of the foot, put the joint part over the top there like that. And then we get the bottom half of the foot and just pop it in there. And you can see there it all seals up, even that sticking out part there. And I'm just going to go ahead and screw this in now. I'm not going to speed anything up in this video because it is um, short and sweet. Or well, it was <laughs> the first time I recorded it anyway. And hopefully I haven't ruined the screws too much uh, for it to be an issue. So there we go. That is the first of the hind feet all done. And actually it's surprisingly heavy considering it's just three pieces of plastic. Uh, not as heavy as, as the rest of the build of course or the metal parts. But yeah, surprisingly heavy for a foot. Um, so yeah, the next thing we need to do is bring this part in here, and this is the part that I couldn't undo. There's a metal joint there, we've seen it before, and I pushed it in so that the flathead part is sticking out. But I can't take that out, so just make sure that you pop that in before you seal everything up. We then need to get the foot and pop it in there like that. It's not going to want to take now, is it? There we go. And then from the bottom part here, we screw it down. Because we're actually, we actually have slightly different joints with this ankle leg, that ankle pivot on this leg. Hello, okay, so that was a weird break. <laughs> I've actually had to take apart this rear leg now for the third time, because uh, as you've seen, uh, I was just screwing down the ankle part. But what I forgot to do, was attach these rubber um, protective parts here on the ankle parts. So what you'll need to do is just place them over the top there. You've actually got a little groove molded into the plastic so they sit very nicely. And then you pop it in and then you screw it down. Um, I did this the first time around uh, and then I forgot to do it the second time around and hopefully it's third time lucky. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, this is a slightly different um, join to what we usually get. Uh, I don't know why they've done it uh, differently for this ankle, but usually we get this metal part here for, for all the kind of moving joints of this Megazord. But for some reason, that's not the case this time and they're utilizing two screws. Um, so yeah, what you do is just put that part over there like that. I put the uh, washer in and then just finish it off by putting in the screw on the other side of the ankle, like so. So we've got that side, and we have that side, and then there is one more screw hole there, and uh, you get a slightly longer screw um, in this pack, and that slightly longer screw is for this screw hole here. So then we just pop that in there, 
like that to make sure that the back part of this hind leg doesn't come undone. And there we go, that is the hind leg all done. And that is it for this issue. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I did say it was going to be short and sweet. It's actually taken me half hour to do that uh, because I've taken apart three times. But um, I'm sorry that that translated to such a short video. Next week it's going to be a short one as well as we finish off the hind leg of the Sabre Tooth Tiger. But then after that there's some really juicy Sabre Tooth Tiger parts uh, to come. So I uh, hope you'll join me next week while we finish off this hind leg in the promise that longer videos to come. So until next week guys, please leave a like on the video, leave a comment down below. If you want to chuck some money my way to help me out. I appreciate not everyone will be able to do that at this time, but it'd be very much appreciated. And yeah, I'll see you next time. So until next time, guys, take care. Bye-bye.